Right here I am on the Granite Creek Trail heading to Granite Lakes. And I gotta tell you, this is a long time coming. Had a few injuries and a few uh, health mishaps. Oh wow, look at that tree. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I had uh, some things that kind of put me on the sideline, but mainly it was kind of a lot of mental. And, uh, you know, so actually packing up the pack, grabbing some new gear, you know, just getting out. This is, this is just what I need, but it was so hard to get what I needed. And I had a lot of things going on and a lot of changes and all kinds of, just loving these trees. Uh, there's a lot of things that just kind of was keeping me from doing it. But you know, of course, now that I'm on the trail and heading to a really cool destination, uh, of course, everything's fine. Everything's great. So I don't know if anybody else is kind of dealing with this same situation. But you know, it's it, it it can happen. Great ravine down there. It can happen, and you can get out, and uh, you know it's going to be okay. After uh, spending all the time, like we all did, during the plague that shall not be named, I did not take advantage of it. I uh, kind of was lazy. I got I mean, quite a few pounds. And uh, then, well, hello. How are you doing? Good, honey. I gained quite a few pounds and you know, just kind of losing my motivation and wasn't doing a lot of videos and you know, I guess that happens. You get a little bit of YouTube burnout. But uh, you know, I was still working on things and uh, actually went and got my, my uh, Part 107 uh, professional drone license. So that's how I knew I was actually flying my drone uh, legally up here, which is really hard to do. I know the state of Washington, most of the national forest covers everything, but it didn't, doesn't really cover this little corridor. And uh, so I thought I'd take advantage of it. 
and uh, turned out great. So I try and put my tree straps basically as high as I can get them. I do the marlin spike is how I like to do it. Got some other setups to do it other ways, but this is actually my favorite way of doing it. So then you get these long, long, long straps because we have like big dug furs up here. So I have to bring pretty long, like 12 foot straps to get around trees sometime. Uh, these are obviously little tiny trees. Is always the fun part. I never know which hammock I have. Um, I like all my hammocks. Some of them are a little more stretch, which I prefer stretch. Um, this one had the bug net all line. See, I'm using the eighth inch am steel on this particular one, which gives me plenty of leeway as far as strength. You know, yes, this is the I forgot what they call it, but it's the breathable, the breathable one. Do some. Well, these are, she's up a little bit of bounce to them, which is fine. Tighten her up a little bit. This is one of the beauties of doing this um, eighth inch am steel is I can, I can really put, put this, the tension on it and it's not even gonna budge. Still waiting for some people to take off. I'm, I am in a legal drone flying area. Um, checked with the FAA. It's one of the few areas where you can come up into the mountains and do drone work, but I still would rather not bother anybody. So I'm just waiting for the last uh, couple people to leave. And uh, so if anybody's wondering if this is illegal to fly the drone, it's not. So this is. Uh, I'll check with the FAA. So I've decided to have uh, just your good old fashioned mountain house spaghetti uh, with meat sauce. And I'm going to uh, follow that up with a little dessert later on. But um, find the flavor packet. Pick that out. And I'm using it, it's a, the MSR's um, little solo ultralight setup. Um, had it a couple years ago. I haven't really used it. I've got, I've definitely got lighter stuff, but, but it's MSR's offering uh, as far as solo you know, 
a lightweight. Um, they always kind of tend to go with that heavier aluminum than everybody else. So of course it makes it weigh a little bit more uh, for this size, but uh, I thought I thought I'd bring it. Why not? I don't know what you call it. I don't know if it's you know, like I'm depressed type of thing when, when all that kind of starts building up, you know, the, the plague and you know all the things that people were going through and, and now kind of the aftermath of all that. You know, it was just a lot of stuff I was letting get to me. And believe me, there's a lot more going on in this world that gets to me, but what I really needed was a good dose of nature, of physical exertion, of you know, kind of minimalism to get everything into one pack, um, get my photography video stuff, you know, condensed down to where it's something I think I can I can use. I got a big hike later this year. Um, won't be able to take the drone on that one, but uh, you know, I think I've got. Um, the right pack. This is the Osprey uh, Exos 58. It has all the cool Osprey features that I really love. It can hold my my uh, tripod. Uh, it's got the great ventilation. Great pack. That's kind of interesting because I had the whole lake to myself for quite a while, and uh, then the people showed up late last night and camped out right by me. But then. They slept in nicely, so I again had a real quiet uh, lake and surroundings to deal with. It was a beautiful, misty morning, and and uh, I saw this. You know, I didn't think there was any fish in in the lake. I just hadn't seen any, and this one, you know, it was probably 14-inch, big fatty trout swam right in front of me. So I did get my Tinkara stuff out and I uh, didn't see any more fish other than that, but I had to try, of course. Uh, but yeah, he was a beautiful fish. Um, There's a lot of reeds on the other side of the lake, so maybe that'd be a better spot to go fishing. But then the day hikers started showing up and it's just amazing. You know, they, they, there's certain people that just 
and it just piercing the sound of this talking and you're on a lake so of course it's traveling everywhere and uh so with that i decided to go for one last swim pack up my gear and uh, get going you know things have been lifted quite a bit you know i've got to maintain that you know back in reality but you know the smell i mean there's certain smells of course of the forest there's smells of the berries that are coming out you know it's just a just a wonderful you know the air the sights the sun even the even the clouds and the mist this morning they're all just they're just magical so it's really good for me